Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Tundra Mission. We're on a mission today, a mission to see if putting this town on cover on the back of the Tundra made any difference at all. And I'm talking about sound, feel of the truck, wind buffeting, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna jump in and take a look. Here is the board, by the way, that I kinda put a short video out on the other day. It's drying, I painted the ends, and yeah, I know, it's a gloss versus a matte or whatever. And I did that intentionally because these ends are going to be in the slots in the back of the Tundra. You're never going to see them. What I'm talking about, of course, are the slots right there on the edges. I'm gonna put it in the furthest away slot to give me space here to be able to put stuff without it rolling around all over the place in the truck. Okay, we're driving pretty slow speed at the moment. So before I kick the air conditioning off, because I'm sure that's probably all you can hear right now. It's 91 degrees, humid, sunny, and hot outside. So trying to stretch out this air conditioning as long as I can. A couple of things I wanted to mention, kind of a follow-up to the install of the tonneau cover. First of all, the, uh, the water lines, the drainage lines. If you saw the video, and if you haven't, check it out. It's probably the previous video to this one. I, I kind of put them to the center holes, kind of like a V in the bed of the tundra. I found while I was crawling around trying to get the front part of the tonneau cover where I wanted it, that there were two other holes on the outside, closest to the wall of the bed, if you so I pulled them out of the holes I had them in and I put them all the way over in the corners. A couple of reasons why. One, it's a more straight shot down. Two, it gets them out of the way if I was to push anything up against the front of the bed or the back of the bed, the wall of the bed, then I would hit those drain lines, potentially catching them on something, I don't know. So now they're out of the way, they're right in the corners. It's perfect. I recommend doing it that way. Again, watch the video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll find out. And real quick, before I forget, because I always do, click the subscribe button while you're here. Another thing I wanted to mention, those blocks. It came with two different sets of blocks. Originally, I had put the bigger blocks up in the corners. It's for water prevention. And that was wrong. The smaller blocks should have gone there. And I corrected that in the video. But those bigger blocks I really didn't cover. Those bigger blocks are to put underneath the cover on the front edge, I believe, so that if you tip the, the tonneau cover all the way up and lean it against the window or the back of the truck, that they have some cushioning. Now, I did not put them on. They're only held on by adhesive, but I didn't put them on because I'm never going to do that. And if I do, well, I'm willing to run the risk of having that tonneau cover against the uh, the window. It would completely block the window anyway. You couldn't see anything behind you. I can see where it would be useful if you were hauling something big. And I do have them still, and I might change my mind on that and go ahead and put them back on or put them on. I don't know. I'm a little leery because I'm not quite sure they would stick anyway. With the extreme heat we get here in South Texas, that tonneau cover is going to get very, very hot. So I think they probably would end up falling off and be useless, but you never know. Maybe we'll try them down the road just to see if they do work the way it's supposed to. Otherwise, after finishing it up, it fits perfectly. I wanted to talk about water real quick. That's been the biggest uh, problem I've had with any tonneau covers, except for those Tiger vinyl fold-up covers. Not the roll-up, but the three-piece or whatever that fold up. For some reason, those have always been really good, watertight. Um, I've never had that kind of experience with the hard tunnels like I have on there right now. So we're gonna see. This install is probably the best one that I've ever done. And I'll chalk that up to experience, knowing that I've had leaks in the past. But it's probably the best one that I've ever done to give myself a chance to not have any water leak in. And I think it looks pretty good. All of the seals look like they're supposed to. Everything looks stout. When I was underneath there finishing up, I was looking for light penetration. I didn't see any. So I think the only place that I might get some sort of water in the truck is through the back of the tailgate. 
if for some reason water was just pouring down on the back of the truck while I was driving or maybe sitting at a stoplight, I'm gonna go ahead and put some insulation or some weather seal back there. I'll do a video on that just so you can see what I'm talking about. But I think I have a pretty good chance. Maybe I'll do a hose test on it too. Spray it off, see if any water comes in, who knows. Now, let's get to uh, the point of this video. How does it sound? Let me turn the air off real quick, not for long. I'm traveling at 58 miles an hour and I'm listening for sound, any kind of sound uh, that might be catching over the bed because you know the air streams over the cab and then down over the bed and out. I'm not hearing anything coming from the back. I can hear some wind here at the A-pillar area and probably the mirrors, but I don't hear any weird sounds coming off the back of the truck. That's good because you never want to add anything negative, right? You never want to add anything negative when you put a mod on. So that's good, that's a good thing. Uh, I'm gonna turn the air back on because it's already getting hot in here. There, it's kicking up. I was wondering for a minute, I hit auto and nothing's happening. Um, as far as buffeting in the truck, you know, you change the aerodynamics a little bit when you put something like a tonneau cover on. Um, it's a little bit windy here, it's not horrible. I don't really feel anything odd. Sometimes in the back of trucks when it's windy out, I have felt a little bit of swaying, if you will. I don't feel anything like that. I didn't expect to. These are extremes, of course. I didn't really expect to, so that's a good thing. Got what I wanted there. One other thing I wanna talk about is fuel economy. I think there is still this big misconception out there that if you put a tonneau cover on your truck, you're going to improve your fuel economy. That has been proven time and time again by many different people to not be true. Although I still get people that comment on the channel that try to tell me that they have picked up two, three, four, five miles per gallon by putting a tonneau cover on the back of their truck. Simply not true. It makes no difference whatsoever. Kind of like people saying that if you drive around, if you don't have a tonneau, and put your tailgate down. Somehow that lets the air flow freely out of your bed. It's like the bed is collecting it, like a like water, like it's filling up with air and that tailgate being up somehow buffets the truck, holds it back. And if you put that tailgate down, it can freely flow out and you can somehow cut through the wind better. That is not true either. If it were, you would see many more people either driving around without tailgates the ones that haven't been stolen, that is, or driving around with those nets. You can get tailgate nets to put across that, of course, would let more air pass through there. Again, none of that is true. Now, going forward with this, the idea of putting a tonneau cover on here is for this trip I have coming, and I know it's next year, it's not like tomorrow or anything, but I'm trying to get the truck ready in the meantime and give myself time to be able to correct things like a leaky bed, if indeed that happens. I'll be able to put some more weather stripping back there or try to at least channel the water where I want it if I should have that issue. And we're kind of entering the rainy season down here in South Texas, so we should be getting some pretty substantial rains. I will have a real good idea in not too long probably whether or not I'm going to be watertight back there or at least only have a couple of drops, if anything. I mean, I don't really care if there's a little bit back there, but if I open that tailgate after driving and having suitcases and who knows what else back there, and it's soaked, drenched, that's a problem for me. So I'm trying to give myself plenty of time, and obviously I am, it's like nine, 10 months from now, uh, to be able to know whether or not I have any issues. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to get on, check a couple of things, and I know some people probably think it's nuts. You're listening to your, your tonneau cover. Uh, it's holding your truck back. But let's be honest, all these things that you change can impact the truck. And I was just curious. I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. Leave a comment. Let me know. Have you found a folding hard tonneau cover that does not leak at all? I'm not talking about just a little bit now and then, only in certain conditions. I'm talking about never. 
leave a comment. I'd be curious to know, particularly what brand it is. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.